You want cops? In everyday life, there is more than meets the eye. To reach the depths of truth, we must drag the waters. So some of you saw my last video, how I pretty much went off on Rockstar Games for just being a bunch of dicks and not patching shit that needed to be patched right away, but took ages to patch. Meanwhile, money glitches, they get patch on a whim. I'm gonna get in this parking garage here because I don't want to get hit by an orbital cannon. He might be doing that glitch Rockstar's yet to fix. If it was a money glitch, it would have been fixed right about now. Probably faster. But it's not, so it's gonna take them ages. So, yeah. I wanna talk about just how ridiculous Rockstar is these days. First off, look at this Volkswagen here. Look how expensive that shit is. Why the fuck is this shit that expensive? It is super fucking stupid. Like, I understand everything here being expensive. But when you got shit like this or hell even wait where is it toy car fucking expensive I don't understand why I don't fucking understand why that shit has to be so overpriced and in this fucking game where you it takes forever to make money granted we have a lot of businesses but it's just like grind 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 that's all you do fucking grind it gets so damn boring that you quit playing. That's what happened to me. I quit playing this game for a while because this game became such a fucking grind. You want a car? Cough up about a million for it. It's guaranteed to be a million these days. You saw that fucking Volkswagen. It was o over a fucking million. Stupid, right? Very fucking stupid if you ask me. Keep in mind, 60 fucking dollar game. And they charge DLC, like, not DLC, but in-game purchases, $99.99 to get $8 million in this game. You know what you can get with that? Two cars and some upgrades. And when I say two cars, I'm talking about cars they add in these days, because, once again, over-fucking-priced. And another thing to add on top of that, $60 game with microtransactions that are over the price of the game, which is fucking stupid, I believe. An add-on in this game, not an add-on, but something you can buy in this game is worth more than the actual game. What the fuck? And they came to fix bugs that need to be fixed immediately. And no, Cockstar. You want cops? I ain't talking about the stupid fucking money glitches. I'm talking about God Mode. Every other fucking glitch that YouTuber has complained about. That you motherfuckers don't patch when they need to be patched. But instead you take goddamn forever. Hello, this is Editing Frank. I wanted to chime in real quick and say GTA is like an old car in dire need of repairs. But the mechanic is too lazy or the owner is too lazy to get off his ass and actually fix the damn thing. So it runs like shit. Now, I hate to keep bringing the same thing up, but take the orbital cannon glitch. Two fucking years. Two goddamn years. So you know what that means? Every day, somebody was getting fucked over by that fucking glitch. That you guys did not patch when it needed to be patched. But said you sat on it for two years. And it wouldn't surprise me one bit if you guys sit on this one too. And Rockstar, when I say patch it, I don't mean put a fucking band-aid over it. I mean patch it so it doesn't happen again. I mean, it's your guys' fault that fucking thing is even in the game. Same with the Mark II oppressor. 
your fault that that fucking thing is in this game. How many YouTubers must complain about one thing for you guys to actually fix it? Nobody complains about money glitches and you patch that shit? How about the glitches that we want patched? For starters, the loading screens take goddamn forever. You guys still have yet to pay, fix the stupid ass stuck in a clouds glitch. Which, I was playing this game yesterday, I got stuck in the clouds three times and I had to close my application because it would not load. That was three times in a row. And that's been in the game since it launched. Back in 2013. If it was a money glitch, it would have been patched right away. I guarantee it. Now, here's a look at another glitch. The Titan glitch. What is that, you may ask? Well, imagine you're flying a plane, no! mainly the Titan. Whoops, this poor bastard got in my way. Now imagine you're flying the damn Titan, or hell, even the Cuban. And then, all of a sudden, you press the button to drop your cargo over the spot, and it doesn't drop. That's the Titan glitch. That means you can't drop anything, therefore you cannot finish selling your stuff to make money. So you have to close your application and lose three crates, or lose everything. All because of a glitch. That is a game breaking glitch that fucks with players on a daily basis. How the fuck is that not fixed? Meanwhile, every money glitch gets patched not even a week. A lot of times it takes less than two days. Alright, let's look at another one. Let me drive on over to the spot real quick. Actually, no, I'm not gonna drive over there. There's a Mark II oppressor and I don't feel like dealing with that shit right now. Anyway, that spot I'm talking about is right here. Now, what's the deal with the spot? This road right here, at least this little part that I'm going back and forth on, people can sit underneath there and shoot you through the fucking road. I was dealing with that the other day. That right there isn't fixed. A game breaking glitch again fucks with players on a daily basis, not fixed. Meanwhile, money glitches get patched in less than two days. It's a glitch, patch it. But if you're gonna patch a fucking money glitch, at least patch a glitch! That pesters players. You give us that. Instead of just putting bullshit in the game that is so damn overpriced it isn't worth the grind. Because realistically, all this cars all these cars are just reskins of one another. <sighs> Let's think of another glitch. There's the vehicle warehouse glitch. You're probably wondering what the fuck is that? Simple. For those that do the vehicle warehouse, when you see the three options, there's the regular buyer, the showroom, and the specialist. When you click one of them, the screen will go black for, I say, a second? And then it'll pop up the three options again. And you can't get out of it unless you press the pause button. You can keep trying to sell your car, it just won't work. That's the vehicle warehouse bug. I'm back yet again. I forgot to mention, in order to fix this bug, you can't really fix it. You know what you have to do? Gotta find a new session. So when a bug happens, you have to find a new session, go through a long fucking loading screen, hope you don't get stuck in the clouds, or you get kicked in the story mode and then load into another session and try to sell your cars and hope the glitch doesn't strike again. Keep in mind, a fucking glitch is forcing me and people like me, or you actually, out of sessions. That's fucking stupid. That has been in the game since Vehicle Warehouse has been in the game. Which, I don't remember the release date so I can't tell you when, but I can tell you it's more than three years. More than three fucking years. Meanwhile, money glitches. You see, anybody see a problem here? Yeah, anybody with logical thinking will see a fucking problem here. You want another example of how the game went to shit? This fucking thing. 
Nah, for those that don't play GTA. Those who do play GTA know what this thing is. But for those that don't, let me put it to you this way. That bike... Okay, like say, I wanted to get all the way over to this movie theater, right? Now, if I wanted to get over to that movie theater, would I bother flying? I mean, would I even bother driving? Look how quick this shit is. Boom. My bike is right here. So if I didn't have my car, I would have to call the mechanic and slowly wait for him to spawn the car. Meanwhile, this right here is instantaneous. Now look how easy it is to get around the map. Very easy, huh? Very fucking easy. Now, the missiles, on the other hand, are probably the best missiles in the fucking game. What I mean by that? Take this yellow sign right here. If I shot this way, the missile would curve around and hit that fucking sign right there. These missiles are so fucking overpowered. It is astonishing. Like, I don't know why Rockstar's head is so far up their ass that they see that this is balanced for some damn reason. Meanwhile, stuff like the Bomb Busker clearly needs a buff because nobody flies that around. Same with the Volatile. It doesn't beep when you get locked onto, making it useless. The Chernabog. That fucking Chernabog, it takes one missile to blow up. Meanwhile, that toy car I was talking about earlier, that overpriced one, that takes three missiles to... Now, there's another bug in this game that I have actually encountered. What bug is that? I call it the hitbox failure bug. You're probably wondering, what the fuck is that? Okay. Imagine I'm flying through this intersection with a helicopter and then I crash into something right here invisible and I explode That has happened to me five fucking times Nothing here nothing there in that intersection and I just randomly explode as if I crashed into a fucking building Like really? Keep in mind two of those times I was doing MC sales Speaking of sales you guys removed the duffel bag sale, which everybody liked, but you keep the post op vans. The Boxville vans that nobody likes and everyone wants removed. Same can be said about the dune buggies and the bunker. Nobody likes those. People say, oh fuck, whenever they get that shit. Hell, one of my crew members, he closes his application every time he gets it. You ask me, it's very fucking annoying when he does it, but it's understandable. It's still annoying, though. And the thing about it is he gets them the most, which is ironic. Oh, that reminds me. Another thing about this bike. Now, the Mark 1 didn't have this, and the Deluxo didn't have this. What am I talking about? Countermeasures. Why in a flying fuck? BOO! YOU STING! Does this have countermeasures? Anyone tell me why this thing needs fucking countermeasures? You can spawn it, MC menu, you saw how fast it was. This thing is really fucking fast in the air. And it's very small, making it harder to hit. Meanwhile. Come on, let me in. We got this right here, the Deluxo. Now, for those that don't play GTA again, you're probably scratching your head wondering what the fuck does this car have to do with anything. Again, for those that don't play GTA or don't know much about the Deluxo, you saw that bike could fly and how fast that was. Now, look how slow this is compared to that. This thing is pretty damn slow. It has more missiles than the bike. It has 30 missiles 
here's the thing it's not a bike so what that means is I can't use my interaction menu to call for it I have to go up to my phone contacts scroll all the way down I have to find the mechanic I have to call him which I'm going to do so just to show you how slow it is But yeah, if I wasn't in my car, he, I would have got a oh, fuck off, Dom. I would have got a message, not a message, but a little menu on the top left that shows all the garages I have. I would have to scroll through a garage to find out which garage had it, has this car. Then I would have to wait about five to six seconds for my car to spawn. Meanwhile, with the bike interaction menu, click, click. That's it for the bike, at least. Which takes just two seconds. Another thing about this car. It's a fucking car, not a bike. That means it's a big target. It's a big and slow target. Really easy to hit. And it doesn't have countermeasures. If I press the button to fire countermeasures, it turns on the lights. You can use, uh pistols or whatnot out of it. It also has missiles. It has accurate missiles. More accurate missiles than the Oppressor Mark II, which is the bike. But here's the thing though. This thing does not stand a chance against the bike. Now why is that? Because the bike, again, has countermeasures. One particular countermeasure, that being chaff. What that does pretty much is make it that nobody can lock onto you. So, you pop that, you can easily shoot one of these down, no problem. It's just... Why? Why does that fucking thing need to be there? Why did, why did, why did we need a Mark II oppressor? That brings me to the Mark One. Now look how fast I can spawn the Mark One. Let me return that. Whoops, wrong thing. But you saw just how fast I was able to spawn this bike. That goes for the flying bikes. That's how fast you can spawn the flying bikes. Now let me go ahead and spawn that now. Now this thing, you're probably wondering, is this overpowered? But today's standards, no. It was very annoying when it came out, but it's nowhere near being overpowered. For starters... You notice how my bike is constantly going down? Yeah, it doesn't hover. It glides. Which means I have to... You see, it's slowing down. I have to land at some point. The Mark II, on the other hand, it can stay in the air as long as you want it. This has 20 missiles, but they're not as accurate. Hell, the missiles on this are pretty damn stupid, if you ask me. They're pretty pathetic. Unlike the Mark IIs, which will do several spins in order to hit his target. What I meant by this was the Oppressor Mark II missiles are damn near impossible to dodge. While this particular bike that I'm riding, the first Oppressor, the missiles are pretty easy to dodge. Hell, you can dodge them riding a fucking bicycle if you wanted to. That's how easy they are to dodge. Meanwhile, the Mark II, good luck dodging that shit with a bicycle. Another thing, look how slow this is to turn in the air. Because, again, it glides. It's not hovering. Let's take a look at all the weaponized slash armored vehicles that the Mark II made useless. This on day one. This on day one. This. 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 This, this is only useless to the Mark II if they pop chaff. This is useless, this is useless. This doesn't even beep when you get locked onto. 
This. 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 This, this definitely. This to a certain extent if you're fighting a novice pilot. But an expert, they're not gonna get shot down with these. This is useless. This. This has always been useless. This. 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 Yeah, you could say this because who the fuck uses this? This. 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 If you're not using the fully loaded variant. This. 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 Now, this right here actually used to be able to fight Mark II Oppressors. Hell, the Mark I even better. Why is that exactly? And why this particular helicopter? Simple, it had a low hitbox. What that means is the hitbox was underneath the helicopter. So if you were to fly up with the missile, would just fly underneath you and miss. But Rockstar fixed the hitbox that nobody asked them to do and it just made this chopper useless. That's all it did. Now one thing in the clip I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention a lot of things but there is still one helicopter in this game that does have a low hitbox. That being the Annihilator. And who in the hell is going to use a fucking Annihilator? Seriously, the Savage had an explosive gun, its bullets explode, and it had missiles. The Annihilator doesn't have that. It doesn't have either of that. The Annihilator has two miniguns on each side. Sounds good, but the helicopter is big, slow, and bulky. Its agility is the worst out of all the helicopters, at least I've seen. At least for an attack helicopter, it's gotta be the worst. So... Using that thing to fight a Mark II is just out of the question. Let's see, what else? This is useless. This is useless. It obsoletes the buzzard because those missiles are just pretty much impossible to dodge. You see how many vehicles that fucking thing made useless. Spawn it way faster than any of them cars on Legendary Motorsports. It is dumb if you ask me. But yeah, as you see, this thing is not particularly easy to control. Hell, this jet over here will make a good example of why the Mark II is so overpowered. Alright, you see how easy it is to fly this around compared to the Mark I? He thinks I'm out of missiles. Yeah, check that shit out. See how overpowered this thing is? I just took down a fighter jet. A fucking fighter jet. That proves my point, just how overpowered this fucking thing is. Want to clarify a few things real quick. Yes, it took me a little bit to kill him, but again, a fighter jet, it can do circles and dodge missiles. But that just shows that 
Even a fighter jet is capable of being destroyed by this fucking thing. This thing not only does it stalemate ground vehicles, but also fighter planes. Most fighter planes can't even fight it. The only ones that I know that can are the Molotov, the Pyro, and a good Hydra and laser pilot. And you have to be really good if you want to hit that fucking thing with the cannon, because that bike is really small. Also, another thing. I know people are going to get on my case for not saying, it has a 5 minute cooldown though. I know it has a 5 minute cooldown. Here's the thing though. By the time they're done with it, they get to spawn it again. Because the cooldown, it starts when you spawn it, not when you despawn it. So that 5 minute cooldown don't mean jack shit. The bike is still overpowered. Because one, you can keep bombing people on the ground, and not to mention the god mode glitch that Rockstar still hasn't patched. You can't kill them, and they can just blow you up. Rockstar, you want a good idea? Add a fucking flak jacket to this game, and make it that we don't get ragdolled if we're wearing the flak jacket. It doesn't have to be realistic. We got fucking flying bikes in this game, we got laser guns, it doesn't have to be realistic. This game isn't realistic at all, anyway. So. That's that. Well, at least I got a solo session. I don't have to deal with any god mode glitches. Thank you, Rockstar, for not patching that god mode glitch, by the way. People, it still isn't patched. One of my crew members ran into it this morning. It is stupid, but hell, it's not surprising it isn't patched. It's not a money glitch. It's not going to be patched. I guarantee you that it's not going to be patched for at least a month. But yeah, that's this video. Thank you all for tuning in to this. Peace out, everybody.